We are back in the parking lot again for some practice. Man, I love practicing. But let me tell you guys this. You may have heard of the term practice make perfect. Well, sorry to bust your bubble, does it? No, it does not. Practice does not make perfect. What practice do, practice brings progress. As long as you continue to progress, then you are fine. If you think you are perfect, then let's be honest, there's no need to practice anything anymore. And what we're talking about today is slow riding skills. You know you release your hands off the handlebars at a high speed, your bike gonna go straight. But the minute it starts slowing down, it's gonna wobble and wanna drop. And that's when you really need to be in control of your bike. In fact, our practices, we call them command, control, confidence practice. You're in command. It's you. You're doing what you want to do. You're controlling this bike. And more you have command and control over that bike, your confidence level is going to shoot up. It's going to rise. So today what we're going over is the nemesis, U-turns, except we are going to be doing U-turn from a stop. I'm going to discuss some reason you can do you turn from a stop you want to learn this so make riding a lot more fun a lot more easy a lot more safe you turn from a stop now i remember cake and i when we was riding route 66 and we've ridden it four times we came to some dead end streets and when we got to the dead end street the problem was okay do we back our bike up take all day and walk them around or we do what we've been practicing what we've been training on make that u-turn from that stop and be on our way. Another thing we're going to discuss is making a U-turn from a stop when you're in a parking space. Now this parking lot has them slanted. You can do it slanted or straight. I'm going to do it for the straight lines of parking lot and show you how you can do that and just make an easy exit without I have to worry about backing all the way up, changing your wheel over and over. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do some U-turns in this parking lot where the lane is 20 four feet it's a 24 feet lane now obviously when you're practicing this you can use the lines for measurements we know the spaces are nine feet apart use three of them that's 27 feet do 27 30 start practicing your u-turn from a stop and you will get this now one thing i must caution you if you're not dialed in kind of windy out here but if you're not dialed in with your slow riding skills that friction zone you might not want to do this from a stop or locked position. And we're gonna talk about that also because the way the mind works, if you pull out too fast, you're gonna to wanna to jack it. And as long as I've been doing this from a stop, sometime when I pull out too fast, my wheel wanna straight. And if you straighten out your wheel, then you lose real estate and you can't make it up on the other side. You're gonna to have to stop, back your bike up and walk. And that's why this practice is so, so important. So what I'm gonna do next, Jump on Big Easy after I get all geared up. You know, I believe in all gear all the time. If I'm practicing out here and I dump the bike, most of the time, I just get off the bike. Not a big deal. But if I dump it and fall and roll, I want to be protected. This is why I choose to wear all the gear all the time. So let me get on the bike and we're going to get started. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, we're going to go through this. Let's say that you come to a dead end street. You can't go no further dirt rocks gravel you need to make that u-turn you don't want to back up you can't back up you got to make that u-turn from the stop because you've been practicing you have that confidence to do it without walking your bike around taking all day and it's a good good feeling first one we're going to do is the wheel straight and facing forward and the minute we start moving we're going to turn that wheel we're going to whip our head around first to where we want to go turn the wheel and make the u-turn we're going to remain in a friction zone your right foot gonna be covering the rear brake ready to use the rear brake not on the front brake the minute you start moving you're gonna throttle up go under the friction on the minute you start moving that left foot come up immediately your head is already around where you want to go and then you just turn the wheel and complete the u-turn and throttle through it once you complete that u-turn throttle through it the reason is you want to practice like you intend on riding on the street especially if you have a huge lot like I'm using. If you don't have a huge lot, different story. So here we go. I'm ready. I'm looking where I want to go. I'm going to go forward first, just a tad bit with the wheel straight. Look at where I want to go. Turn it and complete my U-turn. Once I complete the U-turn, I throttle through, continue on. Okay, coming back. 
Now we're going to do it with a locked wheel. Now you don't have to lock the wheel to do these things. All the thing you need to do, if you don't want to do a full lock, a little bit. Just turn it a little bit and do it and just lean. Because when you do a full lock, what normally occurs, especially when you're just practicing in this, is you feel like the bike going to fall and you turn that wheel back straight. When you turn the wheel back straight, you're giving up some real estate. That means you got to turn it again in order to complete that turn. So full lock and then when you keep it locked. Look back where you want to go. I'm going to throttle up, go into the friction zone, lift my foot immediately and continue to make this U-turn. And then once I make the U-turn, I'm going to throttle through it. Foot is up, look at where I want to go, make my U-turn and go throttle through. Practice like you intend on riding. On the street, you're not going to make a U-turn to come to a stop. And if you do, no big deal. It just takes practice. Now I'm going to go on the other side and do it from the opposite direction coming towards the camera. And then after this one, we're going to do a U-turn from a parking space to show you how it becomes. Okay, same thing. I hope the camera picking it up. I don't know if I'm close enough. Okay. I'm going to just do it right here. Lock my wheel. Matter of fact, I'm not going to lock my wheel. I'm just kind of do it halfway. Look where I want to go. Throttle up. My foot is on the rear brake. I'm about to go into the friction zone. The minute the bike start moving, I lift my foot and go. Make that U-turn. Complete the U-turn. And ride on through. So I'm coming back. And then we're going to wrap this up with one more thing. And we're going to just change the camera so you can see how it will help you if you're in a parking lot. So let's talk about the struggles backing out of a parking lot. Obviously, you're back in a parking lot. You want to go out forward. It's a lot easier. We're not worried about the slants. Let me tell you something. Because the slant, when you're doing it on a slant, because of the vehicles are slant, if you back out like this and try to turn, the tail in the vehicle is closer to your bike. When you're at the parking lot, you're going straight in the parking lot. It's a lot easier. So let me show you what normally what happens. What normally, what normally happens is you got to back your bike out. Turning that wheel, looking where you, for traffic behind you, you back the bike out. You got it far enough, turn the wheel back straight. I'm already in first gear, yes. And then you're ready to roll out. Not a big deal thousand people do it every single day but if you could do it an easier way why not so let's go with the easier way and after I show you this I'm gonna show you an even easier way to do it now just say you are directly in the center of the line and of course you probably back a little further because remember we talked about you want your bike you don't want your bike all the way in because we don't want a vehicle thinking it's an empty line so most likely you out back a little bit more and if you out back this far remember when we went over, when we went over sharp right and left turns, our sharp right and left turns that we go over are six feet into a six foot turn. The reason is because throughout the United States, the Department of Transportation has mandated that lanes are 12 feet. So if you go six and a six, there's no way you're gonna go into 12 feet and overshoot your turn. No different here. If you know you have six feet, four, five, or even three feet, you can make a sharp left or right turn exit in the parking lot and it just makes it easier than backing your bike all the way back so let's say you at the end of this lot right here what I'm not worried about I'm not worried about any barriers here because I know I can make a sharp left turn in this case I'm going left so the same thing applies you turn left handlebar left you look where you want to go you're gonna ride in a friction zone my foot is covering the rear brake no nothing changed all the rules still apply i'm going to throttle up lift my foot i'm not worried about hitting that curve because i'm not looking at the curve there's no cars this way i'm just going to make it easy for myself because i can do sharp turns and if i want to do a sharp turn, left turn into a u-turn and get out the parking space then i'm good just like we practice over there i look where i want to go throttle up bike start moving lift my foot and throttle through and complete the turn now i'm coming back and show you an easier way to do it. 
and you don't have to back all the way out the lot. And obviously, this if is space provide, you can do it easier if the space provide. Okay, same thing. If you don't pull all the way in a lot, you are good. Back all the way up. Now, just go on a slant. Of course, you got to pretend that these lights are straight on a slant. I don't have to back all the way out there. Now, I'm not worrying about that curve again because I'm not looking at the curve. I'm looking here. Remember, the, the next car is four spaces down, maybe three spaces down, two if you're good with your tight turn. And now I'm halfway there. Nothing's coming from behind. I'm already in first gear. I'm going to stay my friction zone. You don't even have to lock the wheel to do this one. And remember, you came out on the slant just a little bit. You didn't go all the way out in the lane. So if a car coming, you just wait. Let that car pass. And everything remains the same. I'm looking where I want to go. I don't care nothing about that curve over there. Not a single thing about that curve. Look at where I want to go. And it's going to make it easier for me to make this left turn. And it make it easier for me to get back into the lane. And once I get in the lane, like I said, I'm going to practice like I would ride every day on the street. So I'm going to throttle through. Throttle up. Foot on the brake. Look at where I want to go. A bike move. Lift my feet. And I go. Not even a full lock. Get out in the lane. Throttle through. coming back pulling back in my parking space nice and smooth rear brake throttle still up left foot down right foot up right foot down stability turn the bike off side stand down and I am done so this just makes it easier to do u-turns from a stop but of course when you're in a parking lot it's more about the sharp left and right turns and if you need to make a u-turn to clear the next vehicle you already got it however if you're struggling with this practice on your friction zone your slow riding practice on that practice turning from a motion once you start practice turning from a motion then go into the stop but the most important thing is is to practice because guess what practice doesn't make perfect practice brings progress if you're perfect and let's face it there's no need to continue to practice that's all i have for right now so if y'all riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong and most importantly ride safe from boosting jeans riders i'm rich and i'm out peace